thanks to their three-headed monster in the backfield, the Buffaloes rolled through the rest of the season and were one win away from a Big 12 North title. All that stood in their way was the number one team in the land, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, a program the Buffaloes hadn't beaten in nine years. Colorado improved to eight and two on the season, setting up a showdown for the North Division title with forever rival Nebraska. There's a saying, you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And everybody was saying Nebraska was the best at that time. You know, the first four years, we lost to Nebraska by a total of seven points in four games and never beat them. This is our rival. And so um, with Nebraska coming in ranked number one, we really, or people didn't give us a shot. And that's why I came to Colorado, was to play Nebraska, play them in Folsom Field, play them in late October, November, play them when it was freezing cold out, and to beat them. Back goes Seth Battle. Bobby's letting it go to the end zone. It's a touchdown! The pass completed to Daniel Graham! It was just one of those days that it was special. I mean, everything went our way. 62! That's the most points ever given up by the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It was almost like it was a magical Disneyland fairy tale type, uh, fairy tale type thing um, where you, you know, everything you wanted to do, you could do. The North goal post is down. The South goal post is on its way down. Black and gold all over the field as the Colorado Buffaloes have beaten the Huskers 62 to 36. Fun games, special day to have your last game in Folsom Field, you know, be a win like that. The Buffs had finished off the Huskers and punched their ticket to the Big 12 championship game. But while their destination had finally been reached, a familiar foe now stood in the way, the Texas Longhorns.